and then you can put large areas in. Okay? And so you really paint almost like watercolour, straight onto the coffin. Uh, I taught you this, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> 40, 40 years ago. Oh. I'm still doing the same bloody thing. <laughs> But then, same, isn't it? It's always the same. It's always the same. I mean, most, you know, I mean, I re it's been refined a little bit since your day. I mean. But you can really work very quickly. And if you're working on several, you can really chance your arm. Because this is only a saturated sugar solution on the copper. Okay? You can move it around with your finger. In doing this, it doesn't tell you anything about the final tonality of the work, does it? Because that actually comes in the etching later on. It, it's so good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's unlike watercolour in that respect. It's unlike watercolour in that respect. What you're doing, really, is just getting the bare bones. And the, it's very difficult sometimes to get the, the excitement of being on a boat, tipping around in the top of Shetland when you're drawing, and you sometimes get an excitement in the marks you're making that are very difficult to reproduce in a warm studio with the same <laughs> So you want to get those the first the first fine careless ratchet down, the, 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 the real feeling of being there. And, uh, and, and you remember, and then you can watercolour drawings, like the drawings in the book, but you know that, that augments it and gives you a memory of how to take it, but you're, you're taking the first stage of the etching on the spot, and you bring that together in the studio. And you the do not use a burin, is it called a burin? You use an ordinary school pen. Well, a burin is an engraver yeah. thing, and, I, and I'm not really an engraver. You're not an engraver printmaker. I, I, I'm an etcher. And you use the stop out and things to... Oh, the stop outs. I, I, I generally am working on the hot plates and using just hard ground. Slip, it's a hard wonderful ground technique. And, and if you don't... The great thing about this process, if you don't like what that drawing is doing, it's very, very simple. If you've got... Uh, you, you need some clean water and, it, and a piece of clean tissue. And I've got a little batter...